Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing well as a family, um, spending your time in self-isolation, and I hope that um, even though it must be difficult, missing friends, missing family, um, that you're still able to um, get to do a lot of cool things like getting outside and going for walks and doing things that will keep you busy and active. Today I wanted to share with you a story. Now this story I want to share you is a story about dogs. I don't know about you, but I love dogs. Like for me, dogs are very loyal. Dogs are really protective. They're playful. But one thing about dogs is they're also quite unpredictable. So whenever you see a dog in, um, in a park, always remember, don't run up to a dog unless you've checked with an owner to see if it's safe to do so. Um, but most of the time, you'll see dogs are, are fairly harmless, um, and most of them are friendly. Um, but remember, they can be unpredictable. So this story I want to share with you is about a dog. Uh, about six months ago, we had to bury our dog, um, which is very sad because dogs become part of your family. Um, and a couple of weeks after that, I was busy building a shed um, in our backyard. And while I was building the shed, um, Katie, Lexi and Levi had gone down, down the hill to the bottom of our section where we'd buried Buddy. And they were, build, they were putting um, flowers and rocks there um, that they'd painted just as a little memorial for Buddy. And while they were down there, a person in the neighbourhood was walking their dog. And their dog was quite a large, it was young, about a year old, but a large rottweiler. And while they were down there visiting Buddy's um, gravesite, um, this dog came running up to investigate and see what everyone was doing down there. And Katie saw the dog, so she grabbed Levi and she held Levi up uh, quite high so that the dog couldn't get to Levi. But the dog was young and started to jump up on Katie to try and um, get up to Levi. So Katie yelled at the dog and said, go away. That's a good thing to do. If a dog comes to you um, and approaches you, Sometimes the best thing you can do is just to stand still and make lots of noise and yell at the dog. Um, and sometimes that can be quite intimidating. But when the dog turned to go away from Katie, the dog saw Lexi. Now Lexi looked at the dog and the dog looked at Lexi. And Lexi did what most children would do if you saw, saw a dog. She turned and she ran. Now that's probably the worst thing you can do for it when the dog's there um, because dogs like to chase so if anything runs they chase and so if you ever see a dog running at you try and stand still and i know it can be difficult um, but you've just got to be strong you've got to be courageous um, and don't turn and run but in this situation lexi turned and she ran and as she ran the dog chased now while i was building i heard this commotion i heard what sounded like a dog growling and i turned and what I saw filled me with great fear and anxiety. I saw Lexi lying on the grass and I saw this dog over the top of Lexi. And it was just making a lot of noise and its head was going back and forth. And I had this horrible image in my head of what was happening to Lexi. So I dropped my tools and I ran as fast as I could and I dove over a fence and did this commando roll as I went tumbling down the hill to try and get to Lexi as quickly as possible. And as I got there and got closer, I realized, fortunately, the dog was actually biting her hair, but the dog was playing. The dog wasn't attacking her. For Lexi, though, it was quite scary because all she thought was that the dog was trying to attack her. Um, but luckily, she was okay. But after this experience, I got reading in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. And I'll read the verse to you. It says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And there's two things there. The first one, be strong and courageous. No matter what's happening, no matter what's going around us, we can be confident that God will be there for us. So no matter what happens, be strong and courageous. If Lexi had stood her ground and been strong and courageous, she wouldn't have had the experience of the dog chasing her. And the other thing I want you, that for me um, was quite meaningful um, is where it says, He will never leave you nor forsake you. And just like I, her father, 
rushed to get to her as fast as I could to help her, our Heavenly Father is always there looking to save us and protect us and help us. So no matter what we go through, we can have faith and we can trust this verse that says God will always be there. He will never leave us and he will never forsake us. So four things to remember. Number one, be strong. Number two, and courageous. We don't have to be anxious. We don't have to fear. And the other two, God will never leave us and he will never forsake us. So always remember that no matter what happens, we don't have to worry. We don't have to fear because God is there and he will always be there. Keep well, guys.